Hey everyone, uh, I've been a little inactive lately. Um, I had a random surge of viewership and subscribership a couple months ago, and uh, I've kind of just been doing other things lately. I haven't been doing a lot of gunsmithing, um, and so I haven't really been uploading to my channel at all. Um, in fact, I've been doing another little channel um, based on other subject matter. But um, today, we're looking at this Frankfurt Arsenal case prep station. So this is a trimmer, deeper, chamfer, primer, pocket cleaner, all in one. As we can see, power cord right here. Pretty generous in length. Power switch in the back. It's a little out of the way. I would like to have it up here, but I mean, it's not a huge deal. Um, and these are also all threaded stations. So if they wear out or if you just wanna do a different cutter. You can just unthread them and they're all gear driven. Everything is sealed. The one thing that I'm not happy with about this is that there's no oil port. It'd be nice if there's just a little door somewhere that you could just spray some case lube or something into once in a while just to keep those gears nice and lubed. But hey, it's sealed so it's pretty good. Adjustable stand. I like that a lot. Um, and then up top, we've got this little door. Let's see if we can open that. And that's got all of our collets and our spacers. And those are for all different calibers from like 22. I think there might even be a 17 cal all the way up to 50 cal. And as well as a uh, pocket cleaner for a small par uh, primer size. I have the large primer size on there right now. Um, and basically how this works is this whole thing is threaded and it's just on a little micrometer and basically the further in and it's counterclockwise thread, but the further in you thread it, um, then the more you're going to trim off and you got this little micrometer here and that's in thousandths of an inch. Um, that's relatively accurate. I mean, it's not super, super accurate. Definitely need a pair of calipers with this. Um, and then this little guy adjusts the tension on the collet for basically the size of the case body. So we see right here, it's pretty loose in there. And this is 7.7 Japanese. And this can do anything. This can do any shouldered case uh, or bottleneck case, sorry. Um, so we see we just tighten this up and now we have a nice snug fit with no play and then the different collets these you just unthread the whole collar here and then you can just put in different collets and then different spacers or bushings rather for different um, calibers and neck sizes and then you also have little windows here where you can see the neck of the case and um, you can see the cutters turning. And this is a really easy, that one was already trimmed. This is a really easy tool to use. I'll use it one hand right here. You can hear the load it's under. See some chips going. Got our good cut and then you just want to measure it to your case trim length which is in my data manual we see we've got a nice uh, trimmed case cleaned up that throat area and then cleans up your pocket really well um, I'll put it on there for a little longer cleans up the pocket really well that's what they look like before pretty mucked up um, and in my opinion, I've used a few different case trimmers. I've used manual ones, drill operated ones. Um, I think this is the highest productivity level. I'll turn this off. I think this is the highest productivity level that you can get to before you go to an on the press, uh, case trimming system. And, um, yeah, I have trimmed thousands and thousands of cases with this. I've probably had it about two years now. And at one point, I just had a bin, like not, not a 50 cal can, probably the size of two 50 cal cans, 
filled with 223 cases, and I trimmed every single one. Um, and it took me a few sittings, probably a solid three hours, but I would say you can probably do about a thousand an hour. And at that point, your hands do start start to get sore. So what I do, I just take a pair of ice grips and I just put some cleaning pad or cleaning patches on the jaws and tape them on so that I don't scratch up the cases at all and just grab the head of the case, stick it in there, turn it. You do want to turn it 90 degrees uh, so that you have a square cut. And then, um, yeah, it, this thing is awesome. It def it doesn't get used a ton, but when it does get used, it's not a headache like a lot of other case trimmers are. It's not as much of a workout. It's much faster. You get a really good cut, and it comes with all the bushings you need, all the spacers you need, all the collets you need, the cutters, everything. It's a really good unit, very, very reliable. And in my opinion, it's the only way to trim cases off the bench, and it's 100% worth the money. So that's my review of this thing. And uh, I hope you guys appreciated this one. And if you have any questions about it, just let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, let's just start a conversation about it because I think Frankfurt Arsenal is a really fantastic company that gets slept on. I mean, I have that and let's see if I can pull it out. I've got this guy, their, um, their hand priming system, which I'll, I'll review next. And I think that's another fantastic thing. And I think that's also the only way to prime off the press. So, yeah, have a good one, guys.